further into Steve's stuff. Steve's got some great stuff here, man. Not necessarily bucks related, but. <laughs> One of a kind handmade shrimp and sponge boat. The details are pretty great. Whole phone booth, whole buffalo. Anything you need, Steve's got you. Duh bears. Duh bears. <laughs> that's that Fletch and Marlin Mac. That's not what I expected. Let's freaking go. Put the mark for now with the Jags. Eddie and George, Elway back there. I don't know who's 17. Is. Jake oh. DeLome. No, it's Kerry Collins. Oh, my bad. McNabb hiding back there. Plenty of A-Rod in Seattle. Here's the starting lineup stuff I'm looking for, man. 1998, leave 99. Mike Allstott work done, baby. In the red and the white. That's great stuff. Some signed helmets here. We got Steve DeBerg. The boy, 25 bucks. 25 for Steve. Michael Clayton. All right, let's freaking go. Joey Galloway. 35 for Joey, not bad at all. You got a Mike Pittman up top. If you look up here, you got, I'm trying to see if I can see the name. We got Michael Pittman up top, like you said. It's also signed by Okato June. Byron Storm? Yeah, I thought it said Brian Strong or- Oh, Brian, yeah, Brian something. And then Jermaine Phillips. Not bad, man. Got some, got a few, got a few, got a few cool things right here. You're pretty much the uh, the Buccaneers king of obscure jerseys, and I think we I'm stumbled upon. I'm trying to, man. You got a Mike Williams. Got... Hey, I mean, we're off to a great start. If you got a Mike Williams, Joey Galloway, this Keenan Vincent Jackson, yeah, Keenan McCardell. Hey, rest in peace, V Jackson. Rest in peace, V Jackson. Got a little McCardell. Little, and what's cool about these is that these aren't, you know, the knockoffs you normally run into. Simeon right. Rice. Simeon Rice. Oh. oh, not that guy. No, not that guy. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, hey, Brad Johnson. There you go, man. Look a little, look a little, look a little Yeah, these are certified Reebok, Adidas. There's all sorts of jerseys Some up in black here. Black jerseys in there. Who's that guy again? Oh, well, well. Look at Josh Freeman. There you go. Get the, get the Josh Freeman in there. Get another Brad Johnson. Let's freaking go. Pretty cool. Darrell Revis. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Ernest Graham. A Barrett Root. A little Barrett Root action. Oh, yeah, man. That's pretty dope. Done. We're done. More Cadillac Williams. It's pretty cool. That's custom. Full stitch. Let's go, Chris. I think it was like a family member who had it made who was just so ashamed that I mean okay, probably <laughs> speaking of limited custom man pink Ernest Graham Question mark. yeah Question mark. somebody was big Ernest Graham fan that's right respect him good how run. could you not be right he's a good run yeah I like him whole book of bucks ten dollars let's take a look here whole book ten bucks I mean, at this rate, it's two different ones. Oh. oh awesome. Got a Warren Sapp rookie card in there. Hardy Nickerson.
Nick Allstock rookie. <laughs> Eric Rett. And a game in here. Fulham Stadium. Bucks versus Packers. Hey, check this out. December game in the big Zombrero. Haven't seen this in 15 years. Pack. Second and seven from their own 36. Far across the middle, picked off by John Lynch. Here come the Bucks again, spurred on by their defense, down to the 30-yard line. But Reggie White gonna sack Dilfer here. Yeah, and Reggie White's gonna get this sack. You watch very closely. Watch Dilfer's right leg. Reggie's gonna fall on it right there. You see it get pinned flat. Oh, and Dilfer's in pain even as he hits the ground. Right ankle sprain. Carter off would return for a while in the third quarter, but Steve Walsh. Holbrun and the pack. Got a Rydale Anthony, Jackie Harris, Eric Drett, another Eric Drett card, Sean King. Nice, dude. Large. Plenty of old school stuff. Ah, Bree will definitely make it work. We got some more. Any more old school? Super Bowl champs. Super Bowl champ shirt. Oh, yeah, buddy. I got a couple of Brady and Brock keychains too. Yeah, perfect. I interrupt your striped sweater. Inaugural hey. season, that's old school, buddy. No, that's freaking go. This whole box is just retro sports, retro concerts, some NASCAR stuff. Let's see, man, any more sweaters? Nice Nike too. Nice 90s box. 1996 on this bad boy. I might snag this, dude. That's not something you see every day. So James, I think we have run into as custom as custom gets, man. Now we are offering no opinions here. We're just showing So you. here's the deal, right? <laughs> this is all in a common sense bootleg stuff, but the creamsicles don't look bad. The stitching is legit. You reach under here, the jersey quality is not the worst. So if you are looking for a very specific jersey, I wouldn't recommend the pewter because they come across gray. The blacks look good, the reds look good, and the creamsicle look good. You got classic that you're probably not gonna find anywhere else. Ricky Bell, Doug Williams. Of course you got Leroy. Plenty of jerseys. I mean, this is jersey heaven right here, honestly. Plenty of t-shirts, plenty of gear, sorted by team. You've got a Brady. I think that's a legit Brady. It's just the screen print Brady. But I mean, this is jerseys galore, guys. And, and there's more inside that we haven't even looked at yet. You've got the old style alarm clocks, too. Same rule as outside. Fits. We got Fitz. We got Fitz Magic, we baby. Got Stitched Fitz Magic. Let's go. What a find. How many of those we got? We got, we got, hey, we got enough. But we got Sean Jackson. We got more Fitzy, baby. Look at this. Plenty of Fitz magic. Let's go. The demand was high. Here, pull one of those out. Let me look at it. The Fitz magic. Got a Quan Alexander hide in there. Let's take a look. Yeah, man. So custom in every sense of the word. But oh, yeah. if you're looking for a Fitzpatrick box and you don't want to spend in a crazy amount for a custom, this is the place to be. We are here with Tom Walker of Tom's Sports Cards Plus. Tell us about his story here. How long have you been here, Tom? Since 2000. 2000, so 21 years. Yeah. You know, the cool thing about your spot is that clearly you've got pretty much any team anybody could ever need. How do you how do you go about finding this stuff? Because I know some of it is, you know, signed stuff, different types of merchandise, but how, how do you find all this stuff? Is there a process to it? Well, no, not really, but 
uh, I have certain suppliers that I buy, yeah. you know, most of my clothing from. Uh, I either sell the custom jerseys or licensed. I, I do have some licensed jerseys, mm -hmm. you know, but custom is the way to go. Yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah. It's nice because, you know, with custom, it's. You can find exactly what you're looking for. You're not limited to buy. You know, you know, and and well, the thing is, people really don't have the, the amount of money to go out and spend 150, 200 dollars for a jersey. Yeah. When they can buy a hundred percent polyester jersey that's all stitched, all they do is go online and buy patches and put them on, and they've saved. $150. Right. You can get a decked out personalized jersey with patches and all for the for the same price. You'll get a screen printed jersey that's, yeah. you know, just the real deal. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. There's a great market for it. Tom, you have a great rest of your weekend, brother. It was good talking to you. Yeah. yeah. Fort Dunn, Florida State University starting lineup. That's pretty dope. All the starting lineup you can handle, buddy. could put a date on something like this but I've never seen them before it's got another Bucks bear hidden down in there I think this stand might be closed too so nothing like vintage pewter power man and this is it NFL team golf set officially licensed Let's see if we can get a date on this maybe no what's your towel oh yeah was not me all right red so we're done we were there for how long were we in there for probably almost three hours i'd say a little over two and a half yeah lot, like i said at the beginning man a lot of walking no i'd, I'd say actually three because we got here at about 9 20. yeah it's, i it's, mean it was it's 12 20 right now it was still florida weather at nine something a.m but let me tell you let me tell you brother that walk is uh, mighty sweaty. Oh yeah, facts. Very, so, very humid. So you guys saw a lot of stuff. There was a lot of good items there. Uh, I did end up just getting the book. You know, seven bucks. I paid five for it. Hashtag the negotiator. Rhett, what did you end up getting? So uh, I paid a dollar for this little keychain, just yep. pewter power. I mean, they're, it's generic, but you know what? I want it because it's a big helmet and I don't see those that much anymore. And then I got this damn cool uh, binder that I was looking at earlier. It's all bucks. You got some rookie cards from Warren Sapp, Mike Allstott. You got a season ticket from Mike Evans, his rookie year. OJ Howard rookie card. Gronk and Brady in there. Speaking of tickets, there's actually a ticket in there. There is a ticket in there. Uh, Hulahan Stadium, the Bucks versus the Packers. Yeah, dude, a really good deal. Yeah, so, you know, at this place, obviously, it was... This is probably, like, the... What's the best word to describe? Like the scrappiest place. Yeah, I think know? the grittiest, you know, nothing you find is guaranteed to be as clean as it would be behind a case in an antique mall. But uh, the beauty of the flea market is that, you know, we were talking about it in there. It's like its own little environment, like its own little set of rules. You know, there's a certain culture about a flea market. You know, uh, something we didn't show on camera was somebody gave me like a six pack of the Buccaneers Super Bowl Coke bottles. And to be honest, I don't have a, a use for those. So I took them out of the bag, took them over to another booth where I bought this. And uh, the guy threw in a couple of extra cards for me trading him, you know, some Coke bottles. Like it's just, it's a little bit more of a loose atmosphere. The humanity, I think is the term for it. The humanity is, is a, a lot more vast as well, but at the end of the day, if you get out here early enough, it's a great time and you get your steps in. I would argue too that you're you're gonna find stuff that you know you probably wouldn't find in the antiques or like I wouldn't have found the book in the antique store. Right. You wouldn't have found a binder. I wouldn't you know, have found a pre-made binder with all of them. I could have found the cards separate maybe, but there's a lot of cool 90s cards in here which I really right. like. And you know, we interviewed Tom Walker of uh, you know, his his store and he admitted that he gets those jerseys from the Philippines, but at the flea market, there is a there is a, a market for people who just can't afford to run out and go get a $200 jersey. And I think that's, you know, pretty important because there are Buck fans on all ends of the spectrum and we're just out here looking for stuff for everybody. So if you're into it, that's awesome. If you're not, that's great. Uh, but the flea markets are cool because there's just something for everybody. Yeah, I definitely could see us probably coming back here. We actually, uh, the location where I bought the book from, uh, 
actually the guy had a couple more interesting items he might uh let us know whenever he does uh bring them over so you guys may see more of this place here in the future so uh rhett before we go ahead and sign off do you have any final words uh thank you guys for checking out this video we are putting some serious like work into getting this series going and i know it's been a slow start but uh we're having a lot of fun doing it and if you watch it i hope you enjoy it make sure you guys subscribe to the channel you're subscribed to james if you're watching this subscribe to the cannon fire podcast and listen to us anywhere you download a podcast plenty of great content between now and training camp and uh, looking forward to the next one absolutely so thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you all enjoyed and we will see you all in the next video or the next live stream but until then and as always guys goodbye for now and go bucks